broth, but more rich and luscious. And then I'll measure a cup and a half of soy sauce. This marinade does not lack flavor at all. It is incredibly flavorful and really savory. Pour in the soy sauce. Wow. And this is another thing my mom always added to her brisket marinade, liquid smoke. I'll just add about two tablespoons. That's the most I want to add. This stuff really packs a punch, mm -hmm. but it's so delicious. It just adds this really interesting smoky flavor without actually having to smoke it. Okay, and then I'll <laughs> slice a couple of lemons in half, and I'll just squeeze in the juice. All these flavors are really, really strong, really sharp. They mm -hmm. all compete with each other, which is a really, really good thing. Super flavorful <laughs> brisket. Squeeze in the juice. And then finally, five cloves of garlic. And I'll just chop it up. I could not make brisket without adding garlic. Now, brisket is really interesting because it's so delicious that it does require some planning ahead. It needs to marinate for a long, long time, and it also needs to cook for a long time. Now, I'll just put the garlic right in, get every last bit, and then I'll just whisk the marinade together. Now, I have this enormous brisket, and I'm going to put it in the pan <laughs> first, that side down, just to make sure the marinade gets on the outside. And then I'll flip it over, and I want it to marinate with the fat side up, so all the meat is in that delicious juice. Okay, now I just need to cover it up. The great thing about this is it marinates and braises in the same pan. Really, really easy. All right. The brisket's all sealed in there. Now this needs to go into the fridge for about 18 to 24 hours. That's a really long time to marinate something. Wow. Let me tell you, it is totally That perfect. was a huge brisket, though. She's still but filling up. I say to marinate at least okay, a night. Okay, I'll up. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to get back on the road, and I'll tell you what happens next. 28 hours, though, eight or nine hours. Okay, back to the brisket. Now, after it's finished marinating, I just put the pan covered in foil, mm -hmm. marinade and all, right into a 300 degree oven for about 40 minutes a pound. Now, this can work out to about six to eight hours, depending on the size of the brisket. Then, when it's fork tender, I put it on a big cutting board, and then I cut off the big cap of fat on top. I just start at one end and slice until it all comes off. Then it's just a matter of shredding it up. I just go in there with two forks and keep shredding That's until hot. it's all done. Then I spoon as much of the fat off the top of the cooking liquid as I can, and I put the shredded meat right back into the liquid. The brisket is so delicious with mashed potatoes. It's great in a crusty roll as a sandwich. It makes so many different meals, and it stretches really, really far. It's so awesome in more ways than one. I like it shredded like that better than slow.